All right, coming up next, it is the UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. You ready to fight? Ready. Scheduled for five rounds if need be. Oh, trying to slam him down. Nice takedown defense. Man. Out of nowhere, this choke. One-arm guillotine here. Wraps the leg around the back. He got out of the choke. Trying to spin to the back. And he gets reversed. Oh, that was a big left hand he connected with. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Flips him over to side control. He moves to the Mount of Crucifix. This is ugly. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. He's moved back into side control. He's got to move. He's in the Mount of Crucifix now. Excellent movement here on the ground. There we go. North-south position. Nice punch to the body. And dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Move back into side control once more. Trying to pass here. And Ganu gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. Knees are coming. Under two minutes to go. Sever gets up clearly. He wanted this fight back to its feet despite having a dominant position on the ground. Oh, he tagged him. about the takedown defense on this cat? Slam attempt, no good. Oh, nice slam as he gets him to the canvas. Exactly what he needed. So his opponent lands that kick to the body, Joe, and he has shown an increased susceptibility to that strike here tonight. Hook, that'll land. of this one. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Big body punch. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Full guard here. He's now working from side control again. Knee to the body again. In half guard oh, wow. position. Horn sound for the end of round one. I love in. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. Somewhat surprisingly, despite having a dominant position on the ground, he wants to take this fight back to the field. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Absolutely. One, two. And he continues to work the body here. They are trading huge punches here. That one hurt. 
going to the body now with that hook. Well placed there by the Predator, Francis Ngannou. And he connects with the punch there. Follows it up with a nice combination. Good defense there. Lands a powerful kick. He hurt him with that hook. Under two minutes to go. This is crazy! Oh my goodness! Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Oh, the fist is shaking after that slam, Joe. Nice knee to the body by Francis Ngannou. In half guard now. Under a minute to go. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Ngannou's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken. Oh! This could be it! 30 seconds to go. 20 seconds left. And there's a nice kick. Oh, big left. Switching stances here. Start this round off and move and avoid taking any damage. And Ganu gets caught with that punch. Trying to take the back here. Now to full guard. Both fighters get up now. See the total strikes. He's doing a very nice job protecting his head here. Blocks that kick to the body. Well, he ate a pretty big head kick there, Joe, and he's got to be careful moving forward, moving into striking range, leaving that head wide open. I know that one appears to the head is hurt. This could be it right here. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Straight right hand, no good. Oh! Blocks the shot. He's fainting with the punch. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches in bunches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of it. We have now crossed the midpoint of this fight. Oh! Well, he he's hurt! Oh! Under two minutes now to go in our third round. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, nice punch there by Sever. Oh, man, the canvas is shaking as he slams him down. Good knee to the body. Oh, another knee right to the midsection. Oh, he knees the body here inside now. Nicely played. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Again, they will clinch. Sever gets the takedown late here, Joe. This is a strategy we see out of a lot of high-level fighters to try to maybe sway the judges by getting the takedown late in the round. He's gonna try for a Kimura. Got the double wrist lock position. From there, he's gonna rotate his body, put his leg across the back, and then put his other leg on the back of the neck. Ready, 
fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so with that, we have arrived at the fourth round. The championship rounds are here, and now is when we really see championship medal. Right, Joe, to see what these fighters are made of. 15 hard minutes in the books. We'll see who's the fresher fighter here to begin this fourth of a possible five rounds. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Moving well to his left here, trying to avoid the power in his opponent's right hand. Fighters back to their feet now. Severn's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Good takedown defense. And there comes the separation now. Drop down for a double. He's looking to lock up that guillotine choke. He drops down for it into the guard. Got the leg over the back. Oh, he pulls it to the mount. Very nicely done. Tremendous pressure on the neck. That's it. And there it is. It. Set up the choke, completed the job, and got the victory. So yeah, it came down to tap out or go to sleep, and his opponent chose the former. The All right, here, one more time, the veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 21 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out. There is a new baddest man on the planet, the new...